So the news is out. Niger, who allegedly used to sell uranium for 80 cents of a euro per kilogram, is now selling it at 200 euros per kilogram. Okay, this whole title is like, it is breaking my brain. My dog is barking in complete protest. He's going to bark throughout this whole video in order for you to understand how ridiculous this claim is. Now, let me walk you through it very quickly so that by the end of this video, you're going to understand exactly how to not fall for crap like this. I wasn't going to say anything. Most of you know that I run a daily, yes, daily, it's a lot of work, a daily newsletter about mining news. Now, obviously, this would have been big news, right? However, I can't even begin to describe how insane this headline is. And so I can't, I can't post it. I can't call this news. Now, let me walk you through why you're going to understand bit by bit. It's very simple and very quick. And hopefully you won't fall for stuff like this because as things develop in the uranium investing world, you will hear other things like this. And I want you to be a great, smart investor that can think for his or herself, that can make decisions based on fact or possible fact. Now, let's be honest, at the end of the day, the news is getting out there about uranium. People are talking about it. This is good for me. I've been investing in uranium for almost 10 years now. That is insane. I am getting old. Let's not get into that. But let's uh, just start very quickly on how this whole thing began. Now, I wasn't going to say anything about this news, but when people like Tracy, who is an actual expert in oil and energy, start to tweet stuff like this, I get concerned because it's my job to educate people when it comes to mining. And I have Niger very close to my heart. Okay, I'll be honest. I am pretty close with the people who run Myriad Uranium, which is a tiny junior in Niger with lots of potential, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I also actually had the opportunity to moderate a panel at PDAC when it came to the Nigerian, um, I, it's not embassy, that's not the right name, uh, their minister of mines and, you know, her people, basically. So the, the country was represent, represented at PDAC and I was the person who was moderating the panel to promote Niger. And here's the thing, for all intents and purposes, it was my belief at the time, and it still is, that the people in power wanted mining to grow as part of their GDP. More on that later. And when somebody says something like that in uranium land, which I feel it's, I can't call it my turf, I don't own it, but you know, I, I'm deep in the market, then I feel like it's my moral duty to debunk it if I can actually do that. So let's take a look at uh, what Tracy posted. Now, let me tell you something. Tracy, great follow for oil and energy. Go follow her at C-H-I-G-R-L, okay? She has a lot of fakes going on. And so make sure it's, it's the real deal with the little seal and everything. She's got almost 300,000 followers. And she posted that Niger increases the price of uranium from 80 cents of a euro to 200 euros. Okay, first things first. Number one, does Niger as a country sell any uranium? Or is she talking about, and I'm not saying she, but whoever posted this is talking about companies that mine within the borders of Niger. Well, what I know is that Niger has a state-owned company that does JVs with local mines. And so what happens is if you find a great deposit in Niger and you want to mine it, not just in Niger, but a lot of different places, you'll get somebody knocking on your door way, way early in the process. And they're going to 
own part of your mind, part of your operations. You're going to set up a company locally, and then they're going to own a part of it. They could own anything from 10% to 30%. It happens in all of these countries, especially in Africa. This is very common. This is a way that countries make sure that their resources are turning into cash. And that cash will hopefully end up in the hands of the people. I am not going to get into the possibility that not all of that money gets into the hands of all people. You know how things work. But let's get back to it. So we know for a fact that, yes, Niger does operate a company that owns you know a few of these uranium mines that's interesting so they own a share of a bunch of uranium mines hmm okay what are they called sopamin huh interesting now when you go to sopamin you know you can actually figure out how they do things and where they own their mines and what kind of output they have you know, it's it's all very public. So yes, they do produce some of Niger's uranium or they own part of the production, but they don't own the whole thing. Because let's face it, when we talk about Niger selling to France at a discount, well, guess what? If Orano, who's a, you know, which is a French company, is operating the mine and Niger owns a third of that mine, then Orano has all the rights to remove that product for themselves at cost. And they'll pay taxes in the local business. And Siri doesn't even know what's happening. Yeah, even Siri's confused with the story. But then the rest will be owned by their partners, which is Sopamin. Okay, so that's a thing. So Niger. Can they increase the price of the material that they're selling? Sure, but something is weird about the way that this is reported. It's talking about 80 cents per kilogram. Why and how in the world would they do that? Well, let's talk about this for a second. So if we go back here and we take a look at this news, you're gonna see that it's reported as kilograms, okay? First things first, uranium is not quoted as kilograms. It is found in mines and then reported as either pounds or tons. So you can see this is the uranium price, um, unofficial, I guess, x.com account or Twitter account. And you can check that we've just crossed the 63. This is insane. This is going up very, very quickly, but that's just a side note. Yay for us, you twin. Okay, so this is being quoted by the pound by every agency that you could possibly find in the world. But the most important thing is that, you know what? France has actually paid real money for these pounds. And how do we know this? Well, there are two ways of knowing it. One of them is if you go to the French um, sort of finance government or whatever they call it nowadays, they will actually tell you everything that they have imported and there is a line for uranium and the value of those goods. It's there. It's being reported publicly. But also I got this uh, World Bank link, which tells you the trade value of Niger export. Let me make it bigger for you know those among us who can't really read that small. Niger export 2019. This is the, the product. Okay. This is, I guess it's an international product code for uranium. Um, France. Oh, okay. That's interesting. They mostly exported it to France. It tells you the value of it in thousands of dollars. And guess what? Look at this number. This tells you everything you need to know. Okay, $226 million is the value of goods traded or exported by Niger to France in 2019. 
I didn't know what else to say. If you want to claim that that this is kilograms, I mean, that would mean 40 cents per pound. I mean, what I just showed you proves it that it's not. Now, it would have to be a case of so much corruption that the Nigerian government is not just lying about their numbers, but that they have an empty shell of a company that makes no money. Do you understand the gravity of this? And that France is reporting fake numbers and that the World Bank is also reporting fake numbers. It makes no sense. If we were talking 40 cents of a euro, which is about 40 cents USD per pound, then in order to, to only make 226 million, they would have sold probably more than what the country has in pounds of uranium in the ground currently in one year. Like, this doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. When you see a piece of news like that, ask yourself, does this make sense? Is it being reported correctly? Now, the way you don't fall into things like that is you have to have a 30,000 foot view of what that particular market is and what it does how Niger would sell all their uranium for pennies on the dollar is just unfathomable. It has, it makes no, absolutely no sense whatsoever. Now there could be a very tiny surcharge, an extra like stamp duty on the pounds that leave the country that are not Niger's. You gotta pay attention to this. And the reason why we fall into these little narratives is because we're the, under the, we're the underdog. We want the underdog to win. It is a very easy way to manipulate the population and say, hey, poor little African country was only getting a, a few plastic chips for all their precious uranium and uh, evil French people. They're gonna take it in the nose now because now we're selling it for 200 euros per kilogram which is a hundred dollars per pound which is way way above like maybe 80 percent just off the top of my head i don't do public math but this is probably 80 percent higher than the current price of uranium in the open market today makes no sense it's a commodity a pound of uranium from niger does not power up more easily or quickly or cleanly than a pound of uranium coming from Canada. You see the difference? If it's a commodity, it doesn't really matter where it comes from. Yes, it matters where it comes from because in Niger, it's likely that you're going to have political issues with what's going on with the current coup, but that means that it should be cheaper, not more expensive. Don't fall for socialist type narratives of the little guy winning against the white majority like don't fall for that okay act like one think think critically now i really do appreciate everybody who's spreading the word on uranium if you want to understand the story better and understand the thesis better then you should click on this video right here because I sit down with somebody who's super knowledgeable and goes in really deep. And we're going to have a quick conversation on why you should really, really, really pay attention to uranium right now. And when I say right now, I mean, as I'm posting this, I didn't even know the price of uranium had gone up five minutes ago. This is current. If you see this right now and it's under like a year old, go watch this video. Don't miss it.